Hey guys! I am finally back on here to do another bump date. I don't even know the last one I did, 35 weeks? I don't know. But today I am 39 weeks and four days pregnant. So this is officially the most pregnant that I have ever been because Jonathan was born at exactly 39 weeks and Italy was born at 39 weeks, three days. So I'm super pregnant right now and so far, not a whole lot is going on. But at 39 weeks, baby is the size of a pumpkin, which is somewhere between 19 and 21 inches long and anywhere from about seven to eight pounds. Um, Jonathan was seven pounds, seven ounces, and Ellie was seven pounds, 11 ounces. So because this baby is obviously baking longer, I'm gonna guess that this one's gonna be even closer to eight pounds, so we will see. As far as symptoms go, I am beyond exhausted. I mean, I feel like there's not even a word to describe how tired I am. <laughs> and a lot of that has to do with the fact that I am just not sleeping well. I'm uncomfortable when I sleep. And when I'm waking up at night, I just stay awake. And I feel it, and I'm just awake for hours. So all of those things combined, I'm so tired. And just the weight of carrying the big belly around and all that stuff is just, keeping me super drained of energy. Also, I swear I'm not like trying to complain about any of this stuff. I am so thankful and grateful and excited and all of the good things, but I'm just to that point in pregnancy where I'm so big and uncomfortable and just like done, <laughs> you know, that at this point, I feel like there's not as many exciting things like symptoms wise. It's more just like, I'm as big as a barn and I'm ready to get this out of me. But just know I'm so thankful and grateful and excited. So I don't want anybody to think that that's not the case. Okay, so other symptoms. I have been super emotional and like moody and I think a lot of it is, this is just such a different experience for me, not having a scheduled C-section around 39 weeks and trying for a VBAC of like the not knowing and kind of being on edge and just like, when is this gonna be over sort of thing. Um, so it's just a very different experience and it's more emotional for me this time around. So I don't know, I'm just moody. Another thing I've been feeling a lot of the past week, actually about two weeks, is round ligament pain so much. When I'm turning over at night, it pulls so bad down there and it's not comfortable. Um, or if like I sneeze or do anything like that, it's almost like having a Charlie horse in your belly and it doesn't feel great. So I'm having a lot, a lot of round ligament pain. I'm also to the point where I'm starting to swell. My hands and my feet, and it's not just at the end of the day like it used to be, my hands and my feet are swollen more throughout the day than they were, and it's not really bad, but enough that it's like, huh, it's uncomfortable, it's not great, you know, whatever. I've had really, really achy hips and legs, and I know a lot of that is because I've been trying to do all of the things to get this baby to come out <laughs> and so I'm sure that has a lot to do with it and just the extra weight but my hips and my legs have been very very achy over the past week. I'm gonna mention another one but I'm not even gonna go into it I'm just I'm just gonna mention the word hemorrhoids so that's not fun. I am also to the point where pretty much nothing fits. I have maybe four outfits that truly fit otherwise my belly's kind of hanging out of some of my maternity shirts even and just <sighs> It's a little crazy, guys. So I'm basically wearing the same things over and over and over again. Um, but I am done with work now, which is exciting because I don't have to try to like worry about fitting in my work clothes anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I'm officially on maternity leave, which is exciting. Just in time for my clothes not to fit me anymore. This baby has been moving and grooving a lot. It is still so, so active. So I don't know if it's just like, hey, I'm getting squished in here and I want to get out and it's going crazy or if it just likes to wiggle I don't know we'll see when it comes out if it's a wiggly baby. I've been feeling so many sharp pains in my cervix and I don't know if this baby's like scratching it or what it's doing but I mean I can tell there's like headbutts to the cervix which is like the lightning crotch feeling but also like I, the only thing I can imagine is like scratching of the cervix <laughs> that's what it kind of feels like on the inside super crazy. I think I did have that with both of my other pregnancies, but it happens so much and it is the weirdest feeling when it does happen. 
I've also been having heartburn still not as bad as it was a couple weeks ago but still having it but I've been able to kind of manage without even Tums just if I sit up for a while after meals it's been pretty manageable as far as cravings go I have been craving spicy food which I've been eating anyway to try to get this baby to come out the past couple days and any kind of dessert just sweets in general I want them all of them any of them everything sounds good the crazy thing is though I haven't been super super hungry because I just feel so full all the time that I just don't feel as hungry so I don't think I've really been eating as much because even when I do eat I get full so fast that I'm not eating as much as I normally do which I guess is a good thing because <laughs> I eat a lot of food <laughs> and probably need to relax a little bit on that okay so that's pretty much it as far as like symptoms and things like that or all of those kind of things happening at 39 weeks. I'll also go into like my past couple doctor's appointments and things like that and kind of the plan and all that sort of stuff. So like I said right now I am 39 weeks four days pregnant and my c-section is scheduled for 40 weeks and three days which would be next Friday if I do not go into labor on my own before that. I am trying for a VBAC if I go into labor on my own before 40 weeks, three days. So I really am trying to get myself to go into labor naturally because I don't want to be induced um, with having a VBAC after two C-sections. I just wasn't comfortable with that. So it's either going to be I go into labor before or I go in for a C-section on next Friday. Um, but I am really trying to get things going. And obviously I'm at the point now where baby is full term. I don't feel uncomfortable trying to get things going. But guys, I will tell you what, I swear I have tried all of the things. And if, and I'll list them for you. If there's something that you can think of that you're like, this did it for me. Uh, let me know if something worked for you because I would really like to get things going. And I know that baby's gonna come when baby's ready. But if I can get things going in the right direction, I would like to do that. Here's my list of what I tried. Are you ready? Red raspberry leaf tea. I drink three cups a day. Dates. I eat six dates a day and I have been for weeks. I ate a whole pineapple yesterday and then wanted to throw up. I've been jumping on my exercise ball. I have walked and walked and walked and walked. Yesterday I walked like five miles. The day before I walked like seven. And I'm not talking all at one time, <laughs> but throughout the day. Um, so lots of walking. I have done more squats in the past couple days than I have probably in my entire life combined. I have skipped instead of walked. I have been dancing. I looked up labor inducing dances on YouTube and I've been dancing. That did not work. And of course sex. And that also has not worked. So if there's anything else you can think of that's like that was just tried and true for you, please let me know because I'll give it a go. Also, I should say when I've been to the doctor, baby is head down, which is great. So they seem to be in a good position. Um, but I even, let's see, my last appointment was 39 weeks and two days. I was not dilated at all. He didn't say anything about effacement, um, but I do know that it really doesn't necessarily mean anything whether you're dilated or not. And some people don't dilate until they're actually in active labor. And if you are one of those people, let me know because that'll make me feel a little bit better because right now I just feel like there's no progress and like nothing's ever gonna happen. And it might not. I might just go in for my C-section next week and that might just be what it is. But yeah, so nothing is going on with my cervix. It at least wasn't a couple days ago. So we'll see. Also, another thing that's kind of weird, I was having prodromal labor and I'm talking like I have had so many days the past couple weeks where contractions have been like four to five minutes apart for hours and hours and hours and just would just fade away. They just go away. And I'm talking like there was one day in particular, like a week and a half ago maybe, they were four and a half minutes apart for probably three hours straight. And the contractions were lasting over a minute. They were painful. And then they just faded out. And I'm like, what is this? But... I feel like baby is in a slightly different position than it was then and I've heard that a lot of times when you're having prodromal labor it's because baby isn't in the optimal position and I've had so fewer contractions the past couple days 
that I'm thinking maybe it finally got into a really, really good spot. And so that's why I'm not constantly contracting anymore. But now I'm like, well, now I want the contractions to come back so it won't come out. But yeah, as of right now, I'll have random contractions, but nothing consistent. So it's just so confusing. Like I said, this is just a whole different experience than it has been my last two times. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how this plays out. Also, if you did not see my last video, which was the nursery tour, um, James is home now, which is great. So he should be here no problem for when baby comes. My mom is also here. However, she has to leave in a couple days and I'm kind of freaking out because we kind of all thought baby was gonna come sooner because I've been having contractions for weeks and weeks and weeks, but it's hanging in tight. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do if my mom goes, if my mom leaves before I have this baby. So we're gonna play it by ear and see what happens. Either way, at the end of the day, we are just so ready to meet this sweet little baby and see if it's a boy or a girl and to just have another little person in our home. Um, I can't wait. I'm so excited. And it is nice to know at this point that baby will be here no matter what by next Friday. So that is six days from today. So I'm trying to hang in tight and not be too emotional about being big and uncomfortable and all that because I know that no matter what, six days or less, we're gonna have a baby and I'm so excited. But that's pretty much it with like what's going on with symptoms and like all the baby related stuff. Let me go ahead and show you my 39 plus four day belly. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. This should be my last bump date because I don't think I'm gonna do a 40 week one and um, so this should be the last one before you guys get to meet this baby. I'm gonna try to do a labor and delivery vlog depending on if I do a VBAC or a C-section or whatever. Um, so hopefully I'll have something <laughs> for either one of those. So keep an eye out for that. Also, please follow me on Instagram. I will be able to update that a lot quicker than I will be able to update YouTube. So I will put my name down below so you can follow me on there and be on baby watch with everybody else. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.